Kia ora e hoa mā, ke te whakarongo mai koutou ki Arrow FM, your community access radio station, and I'm just uh, popping on the mic just for a moment because I want to talk to you about an event that's coming up uh, that I think you'll enjoy. Um, and when I say I want to chat to you, let's instead phone Sarah, who will know heaps more about it. So... Um, Oh, there she is. Look, I'll just bring your volume up and then we can have a good chat about this, Sarah. Okay. I'll just make sure my phone's been a bit crackly recently. Do I sound clear? You do sound crackly, but we'll cope with the crackle, all right? Okay. Yeah, you get that. Oh, yeah, yeah. man. Never mind. Never mind. Look. In other places of the house, so <laughs> um, I can walk around and you can tell me to stop when I sound clear. Look, you just, just keep Sarah, we're on air at the moment, so let's oh, just uh, okay. uh, just keep that in mind as you walk okay. around the house in case you say anything uh, ill-advised. <laughs> <laughs> Look, now, of course, listeners uh, and viewers will be very aware that we, um, we feature uh, a program that Sarah co-hosts uh, Digital Seniors with Roger and a great program it is we've missed you a bit you haven't been around for a while when are you coming back well our next show is next week it's on Wednesday the 22nd of no that's the week after isn't it the week after next Wednesday the 21st of April will be on All right. and that's from 1.30 to 2 ok great I'm looking forward to it yeah, yeah good uh, but that's not soon enough to tell people about the uh the night of, and I quote, fun games, music and food. Tell us more about it. Right, so we're having a fundraiser on the 16th of April and it's going to be an absolutely fantastic night. It's at the Carterton Event Centre and um, we've got an event organiser from Wellington coming to run an event called What Would You Do For A Dollar? And it's a really fun sort of... A, entertaining interactive quiz show so it's got a bit of tr- trivia but also challenges um and it's just really fun we've got Cleville bakery doing dinner yep. and then we've got a band a um fantastic local cover band called audio underground so you can dance the night away great all right yeah. so so um the evening begins right you you take your table with your you first of all you've got to get a quiz team together right so get a team together, um, you can get a team of four to eight together and then go online and get your tickets from the Carterton Event Centre website. Right. Um, and then the event starts at seven o'clock. Okay, seven o'clock, Friday, April 16, which is next Friday. Yeah. Yep. So, um, and the team pays $40 a head and gets heaps for it, right? Oh, that's your $40. You get dinner. You get a fun, the fun sort of quiz show event, and then you get music, live music, and dancing. So right. it's bang for your buck. Yeah, yep. and that that uh, it is a fundraiser for digital seniors. What are the kind of things that digital seniors are involved with, and you know how will that money be spent? So digital seniors is a fantastic charity. We're based here in the Wadarapa, and we help seniors all across the region one on one with their technology questions. So um, we've, we've helped hundreds of seniors and mm. it's such a necessary service. They just, um, anyone over the age of 65 can get some free help with us and we also do home visits to people who are either unable to leave their home or um, need help setting up a printer or a smart TV, it's something o- like that. It's often the setup, isn't it? Once people have got all that going and then they get some experience on it, then they become proficient. That's right. It's just giving them a bit of a boost up with it and having, we've got the time and the we run on volunteers, mm. so we've got the volunteer power to really spend that time getting seniors cracking with technology. Right. Okay, yeah. so now that's you are you are. What's your title? Are you the local coordinator, uh, the CEO, yeah, so I'm the, 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 the queen. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the community manager. Yeah, and something in between all of those titles. Yep. Right, and you're coordinating lots of volunteers. Any other staff, paid staff apart from yourself? I'm the only paid staff member, and we've got sixteen volunteers 
and then about another trust trustee, so about 25 volunteers in total. Oh, that's great. You're all all yeah. helping out for something that I know as a senior myself. You know, what happens with me is I feel my brain is like a bucket. I've decided that's the best analogy. And over your life, it gets filled up with information, and then it starts to spill over the sides. And um, my bucket's getting very sloppy at the moment, and every so often I, I go, not another new thing to learn. And you people can help make it easier, right? push in and we sort of help get that bucket back to a nice level again yeah and uh, yeah so no matter how you know people are struggling with all sorts of problems and they just get so tangled up with it mm. um and it can be something that is um just they just need to be shown how to do a couple of times and then they're away with it so that's what we've got the time to, to spend doing in a way, you're a kind of mental health worker as well, because I know the extraordinary anxiety that can be created by feeling that the technological world is getting away from you. You're losing your grasp yep. on it. Yep, yep. We see that fear time and time again. And now, particularly with checks going away, there's a lot of anxiety around banking. Mm. Um, yeah, we see a lot of anxiety around banking, but also lots of other services that are going on, and so many people just going online, sorry. And yeah. so many people feel really left out and stuck and don't know what to do. I know. So I mean, it's more than just, yeah. One simple thing is that checks have been phased out now. Uh, all of a sudden, people have really got to get with online banking. Or, yeah, or, or, yeah you, you, could, uh, you could find yourself going back to having wads of money underneath your mattress. Yeah, that's, a lot of people have sort of ignored this for a long time and suddenly have realised, well, they don't have a choice, really. So mm. we're seeing a lot of people coming in who um, feel really behind but need to have realised that they just need to learn this new technology now. Yeah, yeah, and, so, and technology is, is it's, it's a kind of stupid beast that does exactly what it's told, whether it's been told by you or by some uh, computer person who put it all together. And although it behaves logically, we as human beings don't. So we do one little illogical thing that we think doesn't matter at all, and all of a sudden we're in a mess. Yep, you're just in a complete tangle. We see that all the time. I mean, I myself, I'm not really a very picky person, but I know how to use, you know, use it yeah. just to a um, yeah. pretty average extent. I get in the tangle all the time as well. So um, well, I think it's really hard for people who haven't had the opportunity to learn it when they were younger or working. Yeah. Well, I was all ready to happily blame you. You know, when you said, oh, my phone's a bit noisy, I went, oh, good. That's where the noise is coming from. But I've since <laughs> moved where my phone is. And there it goes up and there it goes down again. So what's happening is there's interference between my microphone cable and the phone cable. That's oh. the sort of thing, if you, if you don't have the kind of mind that tries to work that stuff out, you just go, impossible noise, can't be fixed, forget it. That's right, yeah. yeah. So, so we can, yeah. So we can help in and step in and help with those frustrations that people are feeling. Great. Now, uh, really cool. on, yeah. the, on the night, you don't have to be a tech whiz or anything. You just have to be somebody who's uh, open to having a bit of fun and um, willing to un answer some questions. And again, you don't need to be a genius because you can think you're a genius and you're all, you know, you've got your literary and your historical questions pinned down and along comes sport to trip you up. So it's, it's a kind of across-the-board thinking. Uh, some of the challenges will involve your table working together to build something. Mm. Oh. Um, yeah, and some of the challenges um, are things like juggling challenges. So one person from your table might have to compete against people from another table to see how long they can juggle for. <laughs> um, and then some of it will be trivia. Yeah. Um, but it's just going to be a really fast pace and really fun night. So all ages are welcome. And the food is, is as you say, Clearville Bakery. So, um, yep. you know. Clearville Bakery, they're putting on a feast. It's going to be a Moroccan, um, a Moroccan, there's going to be a vegetarian tagine and a, um, I think they're doing a, 
a lamb tagine with a rice salad, so it's going to be really yummy. All right. And then we're having wine, Western Vineyard um, will be supplying the wine, so there'll be really yummy wine choices. Great. It's going to be a night to remember, a fun night. Okay, so what is the capital of Morocco? Um, what is it? You tell me. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't decide whether it was Rabat <laughs> or Casablanca. I think it's Rabat, but, I, but it's probably something entirely different. Um, That's so, probably going to be one of the questions on the night, so we should probably study it up. I reckon if you're going to pre- be providing Moroccan food, there should be some link-up. Sh- you're right. Gosh, I'm going to have to do some yeah. research. <laughs> Put me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, it sounds like it is going to be a great night, but but it's, uh, people need to get their teams together now. They need to get together and then get on to Carterton uh, Council's... The, the Carterton Event Centre's... Uh, yeah. Site? Carton Event Centre, they're what's on um, site, right. and you can find our event there. You can also call them up over the phone All right. um, to book a ticket, book a table, Great. Um, or you can pop in. But yeah. yeah, if you want to do it online, go to the Carton Event Centre, what's on. And, those, and look for what would, the event's called What Would You Do For A Dollar? What Would You Do For A Dollar? I'm holding up for those who are watching on the telly. There it is, What Would You Do For A Dollar? Lots of stuff. Reminds me of that song, If I Had Two Bucks in My Pocket, I'd Give It All to You, Babe, which is so romantic. Can you sing that song? If I had two bucks in my pocket, I'd get a bit of, I'd probably get this tune all wrong. I just know that I like it. Oh, no, it. you've got a good voice. That was sounding awesome. Yeah, but I forgot what the, how the second line goes. Look, <laughs> it's been fantastic talking with you, and uh, yep. I have a great night. I, unfortunately, I'm not available to go myself. So that's a huge loss to the evening. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. But thank you for your time. Great. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. Thanks, Michael. Bye-bye. See you again soon. Bye. Bye.